Hey everybody, welcome back to Dayman DZ's Kanji Study Sessions. We got 12 new vocabulary words from the JLPTN one list for you today. And as always, if we see new words today, we're going to write them down three to five times ago over each of the kanji's meanings uh, and see how they come together to make our new word. If we see a new word with new kanji in it, we're going to go over the readings, the meanings, and how to remember the kanji based on the radicals that make it up. That make, that make up the kanji. Uh, I'm going to write each word down. Uh, the con new kanji are going to be written down 10 times. I'm going to say them out loud while I write them down. Head on over to, right, I'm on YouTube. Uh, head on over to Google Drive if you want these word lists. Um, yeah, I've explained this before, but writing kanji down is the way that I put a little pin in my brain. If you don't want to do that, you do not have to write. Most people would suggest not writing and just use flashcards with sentences. So do that. Our first word of the day is shisa. Shi on the left side for to show or to, um, yeah, to show. And sa on the right side. Our new kanji for tempting, seducing, instigating, or promoting. So this is the show instigator. This instigates or seduces something to show with a suggestion, hint, or implication. That makes sense to me. Alternately pronounced sosonokasu if used as a verb for tempting or seducing. Uh, this kanji is written with a radical for the mouth on the left side and on the right side. This really doesn't have a whole lot of meaning to it on its own, but this is almost the kanji for ju or to fill on top of the radical for hitting or striking. I can't think of a way to remember that. This one's going to have to be rote memorization, which happens sometimes, unfortunately. Soso no kasu, hokani sa, is to tempt, seduce, instigate, or promote. In this case, we are instigating or promoting something to show with a hint or a suggestion. The suggestion is a seducer of something that we want to show or point out. Soso no kasu. Soso no kasu. Okani sa. Shisa no sa. Shisa no sa. Is to seduce, tempt, instigate. Promote. Sa is to tempt, seduce, instigate, or promote. Sosomokasu Kani Sa. Sa Kani Sosomokasu. Together with she on the left side for to show, we have shisa, or promote the showing of something with a suggestion or hint. A shisa is a suggestion or a hint. Number two is a ri ten. Ri on the left side for advantage or, or um, benefit, and ten on the right side for a point. So a ri ten is an advantage or a point in favor of one. Ri ten is a beneficial point or an advantageous point. Ri ten des. Ri ten des. Is an advantageous point or a point in favor. Ri ten des. Point in favor. Number three is Uri Dasu. Uri on the left side for sell and Dasu on the right side for to give out or to kind of um, expel. So Uri Dasu is your first expelling or getting rid of or selling of some product to put on the market to release or send out to sell put on the market to put on sale or to market itself is uri dasu uri dasu is to sell or to put on the market uri dasu desu uri dasu Put on the market or to start selling. Number four is teki se. Teki on the left side for suitable or appropriate, and se on the right side for correct. So this is correctly appropriate or reasonable for something. Teki se 
is reasonable or suitable. Do not agitate. Take say this. Take say. Take say. Is reasonable, suitable, or appropriate? Take say this. Take say. Is reasonable or appropriate? Literally translated. Correctly reasonable or correctly appropriate. Take say. It's reasonable or suitable. Take say. Take say. Is suitable or reasonable? Number five is ina bikari. Ina on the left side for a rice plant and hikari on the right side for light. So this is the light that resembles the stalk of a rice plant or kind of a lot of plants. A flash of lightning is the um, rice plant shaped light. I think that's what they mean by ina when a rice plant. Ina bikari is the rice plant shaped streak of lightning. Ina bikari. Inabikari is our rice plant shaped light in the form of a streak of lightning. Inabikari. Inabikari this. Inabikari this. Number six is fukigen. Fukigen is pout, displeasure, ill humor, or so on. As ill humor is the closest real translation we have because we know kigen literally translates our motivate our, our machinery for um, feeling bad, aka your humor at the time, is ill or not good. Fukigen is ill humor, literally translated to pout, displeasure, or sullenness. Ill humor is fukigen. Fukigen is in ill humor. Fukigen is ill humor. Fukigen this is a bad humor. Pouting. Displeasure. Fukigendis. Fukigen. Fukigen is in ill humor. Fukigendis. Number seven is a kai ryu. Kai on the left side for an ocean, and ryu on the right side for a flow or a current. So a kai ryu is literally an ocean current or an ocean flow. Kai ryu, kai ryu this is an ocean current, and a current in the ocean is a kai ryu. Kai ryu this is our ocean current. This is our ocean current. Kindly is an ocean current. Kindly this is. Number eight is Heise. He on the left side for even flat and say on the right side for calm or quietude. So heise is even or flat and calm and peaceful. Heise is calm, serenity, or tranquility. Our new noun for calm, serenity, or tranquility. Heise is. Heise is calm, serenity, 
train community. This is calm or tranquility. Number nine is tsugu. With our kanji for next or in order comes tsugu, our intransitive verb for when something ranks next to something else or when something comes after something else. Tsugu is coming after something else or to be next in rank to tsugu. Next to coming after tsugu this tsugu. Intransitive verb, so you don't tsugu something and make it next, it is tsugu. Number 10 is o kata. Kata in this sense means people, and o on the left side is large part. So the large part of people, or generally people, people in general, but can also mean mostly, probably, or the majority. O kata is the majority, most people in general, or in large part. O kata is people in general, most people, or for the most part, all kata, all kata this. Talking specifically about people some of the time, but sometimes not. All kata is a majority of people or people in general. Ketsuron tsukeru. Ketsuron tsukeru. is to conclude, to reason, or to sum up. Ketsuron on the left side is a... Um, tied together argument and zukeru on the right side is to attach or to append so this is attaching a conclusion a ketsuron a tied on theory or conclusion if you will ketsuron is our tied on theory zukeru to attach it to your ron to attach it to your argument itself a ketsuron zukeru is a conclusion to conclude reason or sum up ketsuron this Tie or bind for our argument or thesis. Ketsuron zukeru is to attach a conclusion to something, to conclude, sum up, or reason. Ketsuron zukeru. Ketsuron zukeru. To conclude. And finally, number 12 is kan muryo. Kan on the left side for a feeling or an emotion, and muryo for having no or none uh, measurements or amounts. So this is a feeling without measure. Deep emotion, being filled with emotion, kind of a bottomless emotion or an emotion without end. A deep emotion is a kan muryo. Kan muryo. An emotion without measure. Kanmuryo. Kanmuryo this is our deep, deep emotion without measure. Kanmuryo. Kanmuryo this is our emotion without measure. Kanmuryo. Emotion without measure or specific depth going all the way to as deep as it can go. Kanmuryo this. Let's go back to the top, make sure we put some good uh, pins in our brain where all these memorizations are eventually going to go. Make sure you're making flashcards and studying them. Hopefully, with these words and sentences and not just as single words. Our first word of the day was a suggestion, hint, or implication with a shisa. Shi. On the left side for showing. And sa on the right side for our seduction or temptation or promotion of that showing to promote something to show with a hint or suggestion, a shisa. An advantage or a point in favor is a ri ten. Ri on the left side for advantage or benefit, and ten on the right side for a point. Ri ten, 
a point in favor or an advantage. To put on the market is uri dasu. Uru on the left side for selling and dasu on the right side for um, getting out to, kind of. Uh, reasonable or suitable is teki se. Teki on the left side for suitable and se on the right side for correct. Correctly suitable is reasonable. A flash of lightning is an inabikari. Ina on the left side for our rice plant, which is how the lightning looks, and hikari on the left side for a light. The light shaped like a rice plant is a streak of lightning. To pout, displeasure or ill humor, literally translated, is fu kigen. Fu on the left side for not, and kigen on the right with ki in the middle for our machinery by which we dislike or like things. Fu kigen on the right side for disliking. Fu kigen is ill humor. An ocean current is literally translated as an ocean flow or a kairu. Kairu desu. An ocean flow. Calm serenity or tranquility is heisei. He on the left side for flat or even. And se on the right side for calm and peaceful. To rag next or to come after is tsugu, our new intransitor verb for coming next. Tsugu. Tsugi no tsugi. Uh, a large part, a majority, or people in general is o kata. With kata here, instead of meaning direction, meaning people. O kata is for the large part or most people. To conclude, to reason, or to sum up is ketsuron zukeru. Ketsuron left side for our conclusion or tied on argument zukeru in the center for attaching ketsuron zukeru is to attach a conclusion to something or to conclude and finally a deep emotion or being filled with emotion is kanmuryo kan on the left side for our emotion without mu Kanmuryo, measurement or quantity. Kanmuryo is an emotion without quantity. Kanmuryo is a deep emotion or being filled with emotion, a bottomless emotion, if you will. Thanks for watching uh, uh, today. I hope you had a good Monday, and I will see you all tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Domo, arigatou gozaimashita.